first evening hunt. This is the Friday, the first week bow season. 2020. This is in a stand I just set up. Out of here a week. I had a trail camera down here that I moved to see if there was any deer traffic coming through here. For our opening day, I've seen so many deer passing up and down this route. I had a, a buck come past me. He, he came right through here, through this clearing, and then past my stand on the other side. I have another stand about 45 yards that direction, but our tree is a game of yards. I'm gonna sit tight here and see if we see any deer. I'll probably be back in here in the morning. This is our third archery hunt. I came out and sat last night after work in the same spot. Didn't see any deer, just squirrels. The landowner seen a nice buck. I think it was Wednesday or Thursday night, cruising up through the field here. But the deer activity has been very slow. It's warm though still. It's been pretty slow. I seen five deer in here last week. And this this weekend so far I've seen none. I don't know what made them change their pattern. I was getting uh, pictures of them pretty consistently in here, but something changed. sit it out here this morning see if we see anything and then I'll switch stands later I, I know they're done cutting the soybean down by my other stand so I'll probably go back down there do an evening sit I might have a walk around today and see if I can find any fresh sign Maybe move some trail cameras around. Slow going this year. Seen lots of squirrels though. <laughs> Never fails, right? Alright, let's see what happens. this time. 
I've sat in two stands already today and didn't see any deer. Now I'm sitting above my second stand, top of the very top of the hill. You can see behind me here, there's a big woodlot that stretches all the way this way, along the edge of the field, that direction. And then if I go this way, the soybean, right next to me there's corn. If I turn the camera around this way, I'm sitting up on top of the hill. I have a good view. I've been seeing some fresh deer sign down here by that tree at the end of that corn. That, that corn has been wrecked. That corn has been wrecked by deer. I found some fresh droppings down there. This morning I took a little bit of a walk around. That corn has been pretty steadily eaten away. You can you can tell they've been hitting that that spot pretty hard. Right behind me, there's soybean too. That's still standing. And there's a, there's a trail that comes right down between the soy and the corn. I'm expecting deer to come from the woods this way down this way, and then out across that way. We'll see. Deer movement's been super, super slow. I haven't seen one, not one deer today. Not at all, none at all. Which is rare for me. A couple more weeks, it's uh, October 10th today, so a few more weeks, it's gonna be rot already. There's an early muzzleloaders coming. So we're gonna stay here this afternoon and see if we see anything, anything moving. I have a pretty good view up here, so I'll be able to see if anything moves out in the fields too. Well, I just had a big coyote run past me. He's a big sucker too. I couldn't see him until he got to the edge of the woodlot, then he cross cut across the edge of the woodlot and he stopped on the opposite side, but I didn't have a clear shot at him. He was about 30 yards. That's the, that's the closest I've ever been to a coyote. I've been getting pictures on my trail camera down here, on my other stand at the foot of the hill here. I've been getting regular pictures of coyotes. It's just after five in the evening. Oh, he was a big sucker. He took off straight down the woodlot that way, he came back in, and then went straight down the middle of the woodlot. Hey, you never know, maybe he'll come back. That was pretty cool, though. on my way out now. Glassing across the field here. It's actually a nice buck. And two does in that green wheat field. Actually, there's another deer. Ooh, there's more deer. They're in that green winter wheat field. five more so it's eight in total there's two more does to put out in the field and then there's a big buck way out of range for me <laughs> I 
That's the first deer I've seen all day. They're in that, that green wheat field there. They're liking that. I did get to see that big coyote. He was really nice. I've got pictures of him under my stand here that I'm coming down to now. Very slow on the deer movement. Wow. Pretty brutal. Those are the first deer I've seen all day. And it's like right at, it's probably about 25 minutes after sunset. But they're hitting that, that uh, they're hitting that wheat pretty hard. There's a bunch of them out there. I almost got a shot at that coyote if he just stopped a little sooner. He was only 30 yards from me. Yeah, he was only 30 yards from me. But he was, like all coyotes, he, he wasn't walking, he was running, well not running, but he was on a pretty quick pace. He wasn't on a full out run. But he was on a quick pace, trotting along. And I squeaked at him and he stopped him. He stopped right on the edge of my wind. He, he stopped, but he didn't come back towards me. He actually went away from me. He came back into the woods a little bit, but then went straight down from me. That's the first time anybody sat in that stand in years. I'm on my way out now. They were cutting soybean on this other side. I didn't even see any deer crossing the soy. All right, time to go home and regroup. Get ready for next week.